Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Josh Ward. I'm the drum instructor here at worshipartistry.com. Now, in this video, we're going to be checking out the song God is on the Move by Seventh Time Down, and we're just going to be checking out the big fill that happens at the end of the chorus sections within this video. So if you want to check out the full lesson, be sure and click on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That's going to take you over to worshipartistry.com, where you'll find this lesson and many, many more. And the way we do it is we have drums, bass, keys, and guitar lessons for all of these songs. And we break them down from the verses, the choruses, we check out the bridge, any fills or fill structures within the song, and we also have charts and loops to, that you can practice right along with these songs with as well. So for right now, let's go ahead and dive into this lesson. All right, guys, so talking about fills within this song, um, at the end of the chorus section, the, the second big chorus section after verse two, um, there, and this happens also at the very end of the song as well, uh, but the first time is in that chorus two section, there are some some big pushes with some fills in between them. So I definitely wanted to go over these uh, because I think they're pretty important as far as you know supporting this song and everybody hitting together. So let me go ahead and show you what this fill should look like and sound like, and then we'll break it down and count it out. All right, guys, so what we have going on here, it sounds like a lot is going on, but once we rip this fill apart, count it out, put the pieces back together and play, it's really not going to be as bad as it sounds, all right? I was charting this lesson out to teach, and I was like, man, this is an awesome fill. We have to go over it, but there's a lot going on here. But when I ripped it apart, counted it out, it's really not that bad. So just jumping straight into this, we're coming out of that chorus groove, okay? Now we're going to switch into a 16th note count during this fill just because of where some of our hits are going to land, okay? So those 16th notes are just going to be 1, E, and, uh, 2, E, and, uh, 3, E, and, uh, 4, E, and, uh, okay? So we're coming out of that chorus groove, um, and we hop into this fill. There's some big cymbal crashes um, that are happening um, at the beginning of each section within this fill. Okay, and they're going to happen each time, and then we're going to play something different in between them each time. So the main cymbal crashes, if you can't get anything else within this fill, you know, if you're just not ready yet, um, but you can grab these crashes. I would say these crashes are probably the most important thing to hit because we're hitting with all those guitar strums and everybody's just hitting together. Okay, so we're counting this in a 16th note pattern, and the way we're going to memorize these hits is just going to be one and a uh, e and okay so we're playing on the one and an uh of measure one and on measure two we're playing on the e and the and of two okay so playing in real time it's kind of hard to hit every to verbalize every single one of these counts so that's why it's just one and a uh, e and okay but if we slow it way down what's happening is just going to be one E and a uh, two E and okay so one more time one E and a uh, two E and okay so those are gonna be our hits and that are gonna happen every single section okay now the next thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna play what's in between um, to finish out you know the the measure okay so what we've got going on is we're gonna come in on the and of three so it's gonna be one and a uh, e and three and four and a uh, is going to be our first one okay three and four and a uh, okay now the second section is going to be one and a uh, e and three and four e and a uh, okay three and four e and a uh. now the third section is going to be a little different we're coming on the e of three so it's going to be one and a uh, e and three e and a uh, four e and a uh, okay three e and a uh, four e and a uh. and then the fourth section all we're gonna do is finish out the remaining counts on our snare drum okay so it's just gonna be one and a uh, e and three 
three e and a, uh, four e and a. Uh. Okay, and then we're going straight back into that big chorus groove. All right. So let me go ahead and slow this groove down for you one more time and slow this fill down just so you can lock into it. And of course, we're going to have the loop below. We're going to have it charted out so you guys should have no problem really digging into this and grab, grasping this fill. Now, once you get a hold of this fill and you're able to play it and lock it in, this is just a really awesome fill to play within the song. It feels really good once you, once you nail it down. So let me go ahead and slow this down for you one more time so you can lock into it. All right, guys, so that's the fill section. Um, one thing that I didn't go over is just at the end of this, once, once we play that fill, we hop back into the chorus and finish it out. At the end of that chorus section, um, we hit those same cymbal hits um, that we played at the beginning of each fill section that we just went over. We're going to play those same hits on God is on the move, okay, to finish out that chorus section. Okay, so we didn't go over that, but it's the exact same cymbal hits um, that we just went over uh, within that fill section. So just give the song a listen, listen to those hits, um, and like I said, they're the exact same hits, so you should have no problem landing those um, once you, you know, grasp this fill and everything. So be sure you get practice up, dial it in, we'll see you guys on the next one.